This is one of, if not the newest circular saw to hit the market today. And one of the best things about it is, well, it's affordable. So in today's video, my friends, we'll use and abuse, we'll slice and dice, we'll talk about who this saw is really geared for, all the specs, and we'll determine whether or not this saw is right for you. So sit back, get subscribed, hit that bell notification, and let's, uh, well, let's do this. All right, so today we're looking at the brand new Skill Power Core 20 XP. This is brushless 20 volt, seven and a quarter, 5300 rpm circular saw now it comes in a kit you're going to get a 4ah bat ray you're going to get the quick charger you're going to get the saw you're going to get the blade and everything that you need to just start this thing right out of the box and the best part about it is it's only 169 dollars for the whole setup but what's really cool about this is it comes with a really neat feature that we'll talk about here in a little bit but why don't we just start using abusing slice and dice and i'll show you what this thing can do all right so here's your basic two by four stud and we're just going to use an abuse we're going to slice and dice and we're using that 4 age bat ray now we're using a 4 age which comes in the kit but if you had the bigger 5 age which is going to give you a little bit more power a little less sag you can make up to 350 cuts in a two by four on a single charge but let's throw some nails in this woodage right here these are framing nails So with a DA blow blade on there, I was able to cut down through multiple times, no issues. Now where this saw really seems to shine is when you're using it on plywood, laminated wood, ugh, MDF, OSB. But just like with every other skill saw that I've used, check out the dust extraction point. It is fantastic. It just takes it. It never got clogged up for as much as I've been using it. And if you're working inside a shop instead of outside like I am right now, well, you could always throw on your dust collection system that comes with it, hook your vacuum up to it, and suck all that dust out of that woodage. Now, the one thing that I really like about this saw is that they threw in all the extras that you would find on more expensive saws, such as a rafter hook. But check this out, and this is what I thought was really cool. So a lot of people, if you have a wood shop and you want to go out and buy a track saw, well, you're spending a lot of money, but Skill's coming out with their own tracks for these things. I think they're 70 bucks for the kit. And you're going to be able to use your saw on this and use this as a plunge track saw. And what's cool about it is this saw is already set up and ready to be used on those tracks. See that knob right there? Well, everything's going to be able to attach straight out of the box. And that, my friends, well, that's real nice. Like, and not only that, yes, you can use your edge, guys. Just put it right there on the side, right there, and it locks down. And, well, you get the point. Now, FYI, yes, you have your onboard storage tools. So if you need the blade change, very simple to do, very quick to do. You got that sweet, sweet LED light right there. And the other nice thing, as soon as you pick this thing up, you're going to know that anybody can use this. For the seven and a quarter inch saw, you're only looking at 11.93 pounds, so just under 12 pounds for this thing. And I'll tell you, this thing is also really comfortable in the hands. It feels real smooth. There's not a lot of vibration. It has a nice grip. Now, as for the bevel action, everything is very simple to adjust on this. You don't have any positive stops. A lot of people don't like that anyway, but you can cut the angle at 56 degrees or up to 56 degrees. Have I shown you that sweet, sweet LED light right now? Now, I do wish that they would have highlighted these numbers a little bit so people that are hard of seeing, well, they could have seen them better. It does blend in a little bit and they're tough to read. However, they did add the highlights on the shoe and as far as it goes with being able to see the blade while you're cutting and, you know, your line, you're not going to have any issues with this and of course with that extra handle placement right there you're going to be able to keep more control of the saw while you're slicing and dicing the other thing i will tell you that was fantastic on the saw and even the upper end saws can't even claim this is that the saw guard the blade guard it was fantastic and rode up over every piece of wood that i threw it at with no issues it was a smooth now the other thing i'll throw out is that this is cast aluminum on the outside plus when you're cutting you're going to get two five eighth inch depth of cut on this saw and again when you're adjusting everything is easy to adjust very smooth operation and again if anything does break you got that five year warrant and just like i was saying even when you're cutting you're looking above that cut you got those outline numbers right there and that's real nice like and all in all, the electronic blade stop, well, it did pretty good. You could say I released my hand. This is slow motion, so it's gonna take a little bit more time, but it starts up, got the soft start, you let go of the trigger, and within not even a fraction of a second, it'll stop that blade. Man, I love slow motion. 
Now, again, I do want to point out that even though this is a good saw and a great price for this saw, there's limitations with this thing. It's definitely not the most powerful saw out on the market. This right here is geared for the weekend warriors, maybe the handyman that just does some side jobs for a little bit of extra money, or maybe somebody that just likes to build things on their off time. I'm classifying this saw as a DIYer saw, or maybe a prosumer even, but that's drawn a fine line. If you're a professional and you're out there framing every single day, this saw just simply is not for you. This saw definitely has its limitations, and when it comes to professional work, well, it's just not ready for it. That said, if you're in the skill line or thinking about getting into the skill line, you might want to check out this saw right here. Now, this is the rear handle saw from Skill. It takes two bat rays, and this thing is an absolute powerhouse. Not only that, the dust extraction is fantastic on it. It is a really, really good saw, which I would say definitely prosumer crossing into that professional grade saw. It is just a really well done. If you want to see that, I'll put a card right here for you to check it out but of course i want to know what you think about the new skill seven and a quarter xp 20 volt let me know in that comment section below also if you know somebody is looking for a pretty good saw for a pretty good price share this video out to them i promise you they'll like you a whole lot more also get subscribed so you don't miss any upcoming videos we'll be back with more videos soon